So I'm joined today with Louise from Clarence, who is the head trainer with Clarence. And, and Louise, you're going to do an eye look for us, the next step onto the makeup. Yes, so we're going to follow in now today with a nice eye look to do. Something that's nice and simple, pretty for daytime, but also as well that can be done in a couple of minutes. Obviously, it's going to take me a little bit longer because I'm doing it step by step. But the first thing I'm going to do to Mary is I'm going to just conceal over Mary's eyes. And Mary, as you saw, I did sanitize my hands. Mm -hmm. Now just turn towards. Now I'm using a fluffy brush. This is our fluffy blend blending brush. And this is great for just whipping on the concealer. But nothing works better on the eye area sometimes than just making sure that you use your finger, the warmth of your finger afterwards. So I pat in the concealer. I'm using this over the eye because what I want to ensure that everyone can see as well is once you conceal over an eye area, you're just taking off that bare look on the actual eye. So any um, fine lines, any color distortion that can come in through purple veins, blue veins, if you have tiredness in the eye that can sometimes come with a red look to the eye area, that all needs to be evened out. And I'm using our Everlasting Concealer. This is a highly pigmented concealer, but what's fantastic about it is it stays in place. So this stays in place for 24 hours. So in case, Mary, you wanted to go partying tonight, mm -hmm. your eye makeup will be perfectly in place the next morning. Now, so that's the first step that you do, okay? So you nicely just conceal all over the eye area. And I went as far as going in underneath the brow. I don't conceal until I have the eye makeup done. So now I'm just going to move on to our eye look. Okay. Now, so I'm going to use a nice daytime look oh, for you there, really okay? So what I'm going to do first is, the last colour that I'm going to be using is the lighter shade colour. So the first colour I'm actually going to do, just to carve out a little bit of a crease on Mary, is actually the matte shade. And if I put the matte shade on first, any iridescent or glitter shade that I put on afterwards is going to stay in place. So just turn for me a little bit. Now I'm going to start in the crease area. And if you ever wanted to know the crease, put your brush on the eye and open up the eye area. And where you stop seeing your eye fold, that is your crease. So it's always best to start in the crease when you're introducing your base colour. A lot of people like to carve out their crease using bronzer, actually. Because oh. it's nice and light. And Mary, even though this is a day look, I want it to be uber flattering on the eye. So I'm just going to bring up that shadow a little bit higher. Because what we want to make sure that we're doing is making the most of the space on the eye area. So this is a nice, subtle eye opening tip. I always as well, you'll see me and you can probably hear me patting off the eyeshadow. If you pat off the eyeshadow before you apply, it stops any unnecessary drop down of your eyeshadow. So you don't have to do a big clean up afterwards. That's a great tip. A lot of women complain about getting a lot of product that falls down throughout the day. Honest to God, tap off, use primer, use a concealer over the eye area first and then tap off. If you tap off, you're not getting excess on. Now, just face me there. Lovely. Even like that, I'm telling you, I've collected the kids with that, <laughs> with just that on. Okay, so now I'm going to go in. So I went in with my matte shade first. Now I'm going to go in with a nice bronzy and I'm actually going to mix two shades together there. And I'm just going to place this now over the center of the eye. Can you just turn for me a tiny bit more? Sorry. And what this will do is this will catch the light and it'll just help as well to open up the eye. Now, if you see as well, I'm applying in more of a tapping motion with my brush and then I can blend afterwards. So what I want to do is I want to get the product on the eye area and then I blend. And with blending, you want to make sure that you are applying enough tension, but not too much tension onto the brush. And just open there. 
lovely and I'm doing the same now on the other eye mixing my two shades together and just applying into the center of the eye it's like you're applying a bit of a spotlight now you can use this technique with any shade combination now and let me look lovely and I'm just going to apply final look and that's another tip as well that I would give is when you're applying eye makeup, we tend to always obviously have to close one eye mm -hmm. while we're working on it. Make sure you're checking in the mirror as you go, how that eye is actually turning out and how it compares to the other eye. Now, open, lovely. A question we were always asked is about um, wearing glasses and yes. eye makeup. Have you any tips? Um, I suppose my biggest tip would be use a magnifying mm -hmm. mirror when you're applying. Um, have good lighting, but also as well, I would say just use um, products that will kind of come through the eyes. Okay. So eyeliner is always a good one. Always, yeah. Now, I'm using the back of my hand here, okay. okay? But this is to warm up my eyeliner. So I'm going in and what I'm doing now is I'm going right in by the lash line. I'm stopping. And I'm taking out now my fluffy brush and I'm just going to almost pinch those bristles and just open. And that just gives a beautiful smoky look to the eye. I only applied a very small amount of eyeliner. This is our chestnut eyeliner. It's absolutely beautiful. It's a real dark brown, but it blends so well. Louise, do you think dark brown is better as we get older? I do. Okay. I think dark brown is so complimentary. More so than black as you age? Yeah, okay. I do. I think black can be a little bit harsh on the eye area. And I think as well, you can keep black for like certain parts of the eye. Like if you wanted a tight line now, which is when you get your eyeliner and you basically line in underneath. Do you know that, Mary, when yes. you can line, that's fantastic to use with a black yes. eyeliner because it just creates that shadow. But when it actually comes then to using it, you know, on a daily basis, yeah, no. Yeah, because I saw that look huge um, in, uh, at the Oscars. Yes. And it was so, especially when people have their hair tied back. Yeah. It's, it looks really well. It does. Like your eyes, once you can emphasize your eyes, any colours can go, but once you know how to do it, I'm just going to get you now to look up there for me because what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same now underneath. Now, I know this is a daytime look, but we can still as well make it nice and flattering and just takes a couple of minutes and it's done. But I've Maybe applied it now. Today, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've applied it now just on the outer corner and I take my brush. I pinch at all times to make that as narrow as I can and I just give one or two little brush strokes and it just gives a nice smoked out effect on the eye area. That is your eyes actually done. All I'm going to do now is apply mascara. Now I'm going to use our new mascara. So this is a curl mascara. Mm. Now, so I'm going to get you to close. And my biggest tip with mascara is get as close down to your lashes as you can. If you're using, silly question, if you're using a mirror, of course you're using a mirror, get your mirror and look down into the mirror. Okay. Because it stops then that transfer when you're applying your makeup, when you're applying your mascara onto your upper lid. Just open there for me. And I always like as well to pull out your into corner the... lashes, yeah. And just open there, absolutely gorgeous. If you can look straight ahead for me. And don't forget, if you can, don't forget to do your bottom lashes. Because your bottom lashes, they really, when you have mascara on 360, so top and bottom lashes, it really does open up the eye area. Okay. Now, I'll do the same now on the other side. You can close there for me. Now, Mary, you have a great brow shape, but I'm going to apply just a little bit of product in the brow. Okay. 
because brows, they add so much structure to the eye area. I couldn't picture going out without a bit of a brow product on. And even if that means a translucent product like our Double Fix Mascara, where it just fixes your product, your brow into place. Open there for me. Now, absolutely gorgeous. So, I'm going to use a brow pencil. Okay. Now, a good tip as well, if you're applying brow pencil is comb down the brow first and then you're just going to do a little bit of a straight line going across the top of the hairs and then what you do is you brush up so you don't see the line and then you're just going to follow through afterwards. Okay. Brows come in all different shapes and sizes, but the most important thing to know about your brows is they are sisters, they're not twins. So don't worry if you can't ever get them to match completely, they're not supposed to. A brow tint as well is a great way to kind of take those invisible hairs if you don't think you have, oh, I don't have a lot of hair on my brows. You'd be surprised sometimes what can come up after a bit of a tint. I'm a great believer in a tint. Mm. Show me. Lovely. And now because you have good brows, I'm just going to apply on them the double fix. So this is to use as a grooming product on your brow. It is a translucent mascara, but it has a lash boosting complex. So it actually helps to strengthen. This has panthenol in it. They absolutely helps to strengthen your lashes. But what I like about it, it just, once it dries, that's it, it sets. So okay. you can go to the gym, you could go hiking, sweat proof, humidity proof, the whole lot. A lot of people sometimes as well complain about the transfer that they get throughout the day if they're wearing mascara. Once your mascara has dried, what you can do is, I'll get you to close for me, is you can run this over the tips of your lashes. And what that will do is that will waterproof your mascara. So once again, then any transfer is forbidden. It's prohibited. It will not happen. And just open. Lovely. And then because we've finished the eye look now, I'm going to apply on the concealer. Okay. Now, if I wanted to, and I'm just going to show you the difference, if I wanted to bring this look from day to night, a very easy way to do it, very, very easy, is go back into your eyeshadow. I'm going to use the matte, tap it off. I'll get you to look up there for me, Mary. And I'm going to go in underneath and I'm just going to add a bit of shade, a bit of coloring under the eye area. And it just adds a bit of glamour straight away. It intensifies the look of the brows or look of the eyes, I should say. But what the tip is, don't go in straight with your brush go up with the brush so only the tip of the brush is touching and that will keep the eyeshadow where you want it because if you go in straight you'll end up getting eyeshadow where you don't want it. Now go in with a little bit more mascara or a bit more concealer. If you've had drop down get out your fluffy brush and just remove. Sometimes you can get one or two little pigments that will just drop down. If you get the dreaded mascara that can sometimes you blink or you sneeze or anything like that, let that dry and go in afterwards with a cotton bud and just roll it off the skin. You don't then have to apply any eye makeup remover or anything that will disrupt the lovely eye look that you're after spending your couple of minutes doing. Now, concealer is something especially as well for any of your um, listeners Mary that wear glasses. Concealer is something that can come off throughout the day when you're taking your glasses on and off. You can even see the difference now between the one eye and the other just with a little bit of a brightening concealer. This has more of a peach tone as well. I'm using the 02 concealer on you. So peach is great for correcting color as well underneath the eye. 
But what I would say is to help kind of keep your concealer in place and to stop that drop down, go in with a bit of powder. Now I'm going to use a loose powder on you today, Mary. Okay. And this is a matte powder as well, so there's no shimmer in it. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pat over that area now. Now, you want to make sure when you're using powder underneath the eyes that you're using one that's not going to dry out the eye area. So make sure as well that you have a good hydrating eye cream. Now, thank you. Absolutely lovely. Thanks very much. Thank you. You're so welcome.